Hello everybody, my name is and welcome to my channel. We are back with another episode of the Diamond Society SMP. It looks like I have a friend here who came from the nether. Hello friend. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's been a while, a long, long time since I last uploaded a Diamond Society video. And I don't have a reason this time. <laughs> Not this time. Uh, pretty much it's just long story short, I've been working a lot, uh, work has been crazy and I do have time to settle down and take like a break. I really do not want to play Minecraft. I mean as much as I enjoy Minecraft and I enjoy building and really enjoy seeing my building comes up, uh, Minecraft itself is a lot of work, just a lot, a lot of energy for me so I just didn't really feel like it for the past few weeks. But anyway, we are back and we are excited to continue with some of our project and the first thing I've oops, oops, the first thing I've done is the road. So we have done a bit of the road because that's kind of like what I said I want to do um, my last episode, sort of the, one of my main goals. It's not a lot of work so I kind of be able to quickly do this and I also did a bit of changes to my shrine. I, I, I just pretty much extended the top here. It looks pretty awkward when I, uh, in the last time when I went near it, it kind of disappeared. It looks looks it is weird so i had to raise it up i'm not sure sure if i actually prefer it a bit higher i don't know we shall see it's not too hard to change it if i want to change it back but anyway uh the roads are done we still have left the st street lamps thing which i really have sort of an idea for it but just before um we do our lamps let's just talk about my mini wall of china well it's not ch really china but Whatever! <laughs> a lot of the tutorials and a lot of the Google images that I found online are all very huge. It's like like Great Wall of China is huge. It's supposed to be huge. But I didn't really want to build like a huge wall because um, it will take me forever. I'm a slow builder as it is. I don't really go to the server a lot as, as I used to. And yeah, I didn't want to spend my entire time just doing the wall. So I said I want to do a smaller one but it's quite difficult to do a small one because it looks really boring. It's just stones and plain background and all that. So I kind of had to come up with some a bit of like unique design to it. Like there's chisel blocks, there's cobblestones and uh, and the side just to give it a bit more like design to it. And I kind of like how it turns out. It looks it definitely has a bit not necessarily Asian but definitely like ancient architecture. Maybe about I, I don't know how Aztec and Mayan actually looks like, but it does it definitely looks a little bit more ancient and that's the right word <laughs> i do plan to cover up the entire china valley which is pretty much the entire go all the way at top of the mountain i don't really know how much to make it on top of the mountain i have not decided yet but also i feel like that will take really long and i don't have enough andesite anyway so yeah it will just have to I would just have to settle with from here to and then maybe if I have time maybe towards the end uh, of finishing my China Valley I'll start building the wall surrounding it we shall see because I still don't know what I'm supposed to do inside here I might build like a pagoda or a tower on the side so uh, not so sure we, it's, it's, everything is still a working progress so this is the entrance with the little hut that kind of marks the entrance almost like a watchtower so I really like how it turns out actually um, Though I think it looks better if it's bigger, but you know what, whatever. So you can go up, up here, that's the watchtower. So you can see any trespassers, any incoming incoming people, zombies, mobs, friends. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's that. Don't really have much things here yet. It's surprisingly good lighting. I don't really know where the light comes from, even before I put the torches down. The lanterns, street lamps, whatever. Oh, Curly is back. <laughs> anyway, I need to get pumpkins for that because I don't really like the glowstone effect if I use it on my lanterns, lamp. I just call it street lanterns, just to make it clear. I would prefer if I have uh, pumpkins, jack o' lanterns instead of glowstones. It's also much cheaper, but I first need to find myself a pumpkin. So, we have a couple of friends here. We shall see who is available to help me. And we are back. We have our jack o' lantern. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, we have a jack-o'-lantern and all our ingredients to make our street lantern, street lamp, whatever you want to call it. Uh, pretty much it's a pretty simple design. It's kind of just a jack-o'-lantern being surrounded by banners. I think I need more red wool. I don't have enough of them to cover all four sides. But anyway, just going to show you guys how am I going to do my Chinese lantern. So we can start with a red banner. Uh, I'm just going to bring everything here. If not, it's going to be quite of a mess. I'm just going to carry... Oops, not you. Carry everything here. Oh, I need... I need vines. 
I'm out of vines. Uh, be right back. We got our vines. We just need one. So let's. Uh, that sh I think that's all we need. Yep, that's all we need. Let's get started. So we'll start by with a red banner as usual. Um, hup. red banners all around. And then we'll go with, if I'm not mistaken, it should be yellow dandelion down here. So we get a stripes yellow banner, yellow paley, we don't call it. Then follow up by bricks, uh, orange bricks. So that's that. That should give you a yellow paley orange field. Mason, I don't know what, what's all these weird names. <laughs> okay. And then we go with a rose red with vines. We should supposed to surround it with vines. And then... It would, next would be Oxy Daisy with Dandelion Yellow, not mistaken. And then we should round it up with an ink set. There. So this should be our, I guess our lantern, but also I guess it can also be used as a symbol of this area. Because I plan to put this banner like all around this area. But yeah, this is how it looks like. Ta-da! So I, it, look, it does have a like a lantern feeling to it, like very Chinese, Asian with orange, gold, goldish orange kind of color. Uh, I think it looks good if it's with, if it's like in light, like once you have light shining through it, it looks pretty nice as a lantern. So yeah, I'm going to put it up all over deck, make our street lamps, which will need a lot of balance. So it's night time and I think now is the best time to showcase uh, my Chinese street lantern lamp style, which... I really like it. I really like how it turns out, especially how it blends really well with the jack o lanterns because of its orange color feel to it. I wish I could make it a bit more um, majestic, a bit more classy, a bit more detailed, but this is the best I could do. There's a skelly over there. Let's walk past it as quickly as I can because <laughs> I don't like walking in the night. But yeah, I'm going to add one more here. And I, yeah, I think it lights up pretty well as well. But I think overall it looks pretty nice. Like, it's a nice walkway to walk from the shrine. It's pretty well lit all the way towards the cent the entrance of the mini wall of China. So yeah, kind of proud of what I've achieved. Obviously, with the random distance, it kind of looks odd. You don't get to see the banner. But the, I, I don't feel safe. <laughs> I see... Creepers, and I'm not, I'm not a big fan of creepers. Are they coming? Okay. Oh, there's zombie. Of course there's zombies. So long there's no creeper. Okay, uh, we're just going to go up here. By the way, I put some banners here just to mark the entrance. I want to put another pair of banners here. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go in. I, I don't want to die. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll go up here. Which kind of oversee the entire valley. But yeah, I plan to put two more banners. Kind of, I, like I said, I plan to put banners all around this area, which is kind of marks, kind of like, the the symbol and the logo and the banner for this area. Because I, I really like the design, I really like how it turns out, and I think it fits really well with the team. But I think I'm going to pretty much end the episode here. I know it's a pretty short episode. I didn't really do much, per se. Uh... Yeah, like I said, I've been off Minecraft for a while. I've been doing things very slow, slower than usual. But I do have plans. And like, for example, you did see like this and the side block. Um, this is supposed to be the Chinese gate, which I actually planned to do this episode. But it turns out that I didn't really like the current landscape. I feel like I need to do a lot of terraforming, do a lot of flattening. So there's all these hills, mountain, which I need to clear by the next episode so that I can build my Chinese gate a little bit. It looks a little bit better. Uh, and I thought I'd maybe build like a forest, like a mini forest here. I kind of got the inspiration from Modbot's Modworks in Season 2, where he has the all the, I think it was spruce, was it spruce or was it dark oak? I can't recall. But spruce and dark oak trees kind of surround this area. Um, and yeah, pretty much that's what I have planned, at least for now. But other than that, I think, oops. Uh, other than that, ah! <laughs> But I think that's kind of it for this episode. Like I say, I apologize that I haven't been uploading for a while, that this is a pretty short episode in general. But yeah, it's kind of just for me to get back into the groove of Minecraft, get back into the groove of recording and uploading and editing Diamond Society videos because it, it does take a lot of energy from me. But yeah, <laughs> I guess that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you do, please subscribe or like and we shall see you next time. Goodbye!